Reverend Daniel Balich, Garrett Furness, Zachary Hall, Luke Higgins, Alexander Stewart, Jonathan Alvarez, David Morris, Bo Wood. From the 326 training squadron. You are dismissed. From the 331st Training Squadron. Alexander Elminger, Lewis Holt, Thomas Riley, Michael Stallsmith, Jamie Ellis, Megan Lima, Lindsay Lennan, Catherine Lowe, Jody Martinez, Felicia Milling. Graduates, you are dismissed. We will now recognize our top graduating airmen for this class. This honor goes to one airman who has surpassed all others in the challenges of Air Force basic military training. This individual has been selected as the number one graduate out of 546 graduates. The top graduating airman of this class is from the 320th Training Squadron, Flight 513, Airman Basic, Benjamin D. Quigley.
Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for this except exceptional <laughs> moment? At this time, I probably don't need this, but I'm going to use it anyway. Welcome, folks. What an exciting ceremony, eh? Does it get any better than this? You're sitting in an air-conditioned room right now. I mean, life is good. You know the the, the uh, accolades of your loved ones as they've come up here today and, and received their honor graduate ribbon or their top PT uh, fitness uh, fitness award or our top graduate. Did you really think all those years ago that one day he'd stand here on this stage? and be the top graduate in Air Force, the most powerful Air Force in the world, the, 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 the top graduate out of over 500 people. Woo, that feels good, doesn't it? That's something to write home to mom about. That's something to gather everybody together and have a good bonfire type of deal. You know, folks, this stuff just doesn't happen by chance. We have some amazing people in this wide Air Force, and specifically here at basic military training, we have a cadre of folks that that pour their lives and their souls, uh, they're being actually into every one of our great airmen. And uh, many of them are sitting in the back of the room here. They can't all be here, because if they did, you wouldn't have places to sit. But I will tell you, the commanders, the training superintendents, the section supervisors, the military drill and ceremonies and shows, the trainers, and most importantly, those MTIs that uh, make this engine run every day like a big board V8. I mean, it just kind of goes like that. It's, it's a sweet thing when you hear it purring. And, and these folks really get it purring. They're the ones that made what I call this, I think basic training is really an extreme makeover, human edition. All right. And you can probably tell when you walked up to your airmen today, there's been a transformation happening there. I want you to, to have an opportunity to meet and have introduced uh, these military training instructors, the folks that really make this place work, the folks that really deserve uh, the honor for getting your loved one where they are today. All right, so with that, we'll turn the stage over to them. Staff Sergeant Davies, 320th Training Squadron, Flight 513, hometown, Greenville, Pennsylvania. That's on a straighter, 320th Training Squadron, Flight 514, hometown, Browns Mills, New Jersey. Staff Sergeant Porterfield, hometown, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, 321st Training Squadron, Flight 510. Staff Sergeant Faber, Great 21st Range Squadron, Flight 509, hometown, Bakersfield, California. Texas Army Patrol, 322nd Train Squadron, Flight 504, hometown, Chicago, Illinois. Staff Sergeant Robert Hudson, hometown, Pensacola, Florida, from 322nd Train Squadron, Flight 503. Technical Sergeant Haley, 323rd Train Squadron, Flight 505, hometown, Geary, Oklahoma. Staff Sergeant Harper, 323rd Train Squadron, Flight 506, hometown of Jamestown, New York. Signal Sergeant Iron Mill, 326th Train Squadron, Flight 507, hometown of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Staff Sergeant Villas, 326th Train Squadron, Flight 508, hometown Del Rio, Texas. Staff Sergeant Duhane, 331st Train Squadron, Flight 512, hometown Fort Long Beach, Florida. Chairman Jones, 321st Train Squadron, Flight 511, hometown, Reggie Pass, Texas. A round of applause, folks.
Thank you, Chief Master Sergeant Don Bacher. And now, Lieutenant Colonel Weierstrauss would like to say a few words. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to San Antonio, Texas. If you're like me from up north, you're probably hot and enjoying this air conditioning. Um, on behalf of the commander, Colonel Shane Corville, again, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, the commander took some much needed leave and he gave the keys to me. And uh, it's pretty neat to be sitting here looking at all of you, our 546 trainees. And uh, I don't know if you know this, we have almost 6,000 trainees going through basic training at any one time. We have almost 650 people in the group that make, uh, make your sons and daughters, husbands, wives, and get them from a civilian to wearing the Air Force blue and honestly wearing it very sharply. They all look really great. Um, one thing in the ceremony, they put us up here and it's like I'm holding you up between hanging out with your new airmen and having lunch. So believe me, I'm not going to talk very long. But uh, if you listen to some of what went on here just quickly this morning, the, the PT, the physical training we put these uh, airmen through six days a week, uh, it mirrors the Air Force program that we have to maintain twice a year on active duty, and we push them hard. And we take people who can barely sometimes run in 20 minutes, and before you know it, they're at 11 minutes. And for the top graduates and some of the ones in here, they're running the mile and a half run in eight minutes or for a lot of the women in here, around 10 minutes. That's uh, crazy times. I know back when I was their age, I was not that good. So, uh, so you, you should be very proud of them. From an honor grant standpoint, I don't know if you picked it up in the, in the uh, script there, the Air Force allows us to have up to 10% of the graduates be honor grants. And this time, with 546, we're about 9 something percent. The point on that is we don't have to have that many honor graduates. What they achieved here is truly a big deal and they should be proud of themselves, and you should be proud of them. Uh, and they'll walk away in a very elite company. What that also means though, besides the fact they met certain criteria and really stood out, is they're already showing leadership. And one thing about the US Air Force, we're not just finding people to be followers. From the very beginning when you come into this organization, we need people to stand up, take charge, do things. And the people in here that were undergrads, you're already on that track. And so when you're out there at tech school and your units, you need to be that person just like you 